In a general sense, the Q3 oscillator is involved with manipulating cytochrome C. Remember, cytochrome C is a protein. What does it do? It shuttles electrons through the final stage of energy production within the mitochondria. You eat food, the glucose from that food is, is basically broken down to electrons that move through the mitochondria to produce energy. So how does the technology manipulate cytochrome C? It's an important question. You could say that it stimulates photon uptake by cytochrome C. An increased photon uptake increases the leakage and availability of cytochrome C within the mitochondria, which in turn increases energy production. Very important. So the technology is, is effective for enhancing cytochrome C availability, which will improve almost any condition. But with cancer specifically, we, we generally have a blockage of this protein. You could say that, the, that it gets depleted in cancer cells, which in turn reduces energy production. But perhaps even more importantly, the molecule plays a central role in activating cell death. It's a signaling molecule that tells a cell when it needs to die. So two benefits with this technology. Number one, which is more of a general benefit, you get increased energy production, that's gonna help almost any, any condition. And number two, the technology depolarizes the mitochondrial membrane in a manner that promotes the leakage of cytochrome C, basically upregulates the amount of cytochrome C, <clears throat> thereby normalizing the signaling. And then the cytochrome C uh, also increases the production of hydrogen peroxide, which functions as a signaling molecule in the complex three protein which leads to even more apoptosis. So with the Q3, you have increased cell regulation, whether it's a cell that needs to die, as in a cancer cell, or if it's a cell that just needs or could it, it benefit from increased energy production.